Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox this TP-Link 24 port ethernet gigabit switch. Now, why do you need a switch? This is an unmanaged switch, by the way. So why do you need a switch, right? Well, if you have one of these newer mesh Wi-Fi routers like the Nest Wi-Fi, which only has one external port, or if you have the new Eero 6, which is basically, you know, one's designed for your modem, even if this is the secondary one, you only have two ports at most to use. So how do you expand your network? So that's where this switch comes in. The same thing with the Orbi, you know, if, if you have the satellite, you only have two ports that are usable. If you want to expand that, you need something called an unmanaged switch. Now, it doesn't have to be a 24 port switch. So uh, I got this one um, just because I have a few devices. But essentially, it's actually just open it this way. So you get your power cable and stuff, regular, standard. This is your rack mount stuff if you need to rack mount it. This is a all metal, basically, case construction. And so it's this nice compact form switch that air vented and everything from all the sides. And yeah, I mean, it's really nice and everything. So this is obviously the front. And what you're going to do is like basically like, okay, if I'm rounding my, if I have my Eero 6, right, and, uh, and I want to run, I want to connect more stuff. Well, if this is my main one, if I hook one to the modem, right, well, I only have one usable port, right? So then instead of hooking this up to my computer or some other device or whatever, I can actually hook that up to a switch. Uh, and any port works, it doesn't actually matter. Th these are plug and play, so there's no settings with these. Then from here, I have 23 usable ports to connect stuff to. And so if I wanted to hook up my computer or whatever, I could pick any other port I want, and boom. If I wanted to connect another Eero router, I could basically go from this. So I can, you know, get my other Eero router, and then basically connect some devices on this network and then with this cable or any other cable really connected to the other Euro 6 router. So it's a way of expanding your network. Okay, so I've turned off the lights because my TV is crazy reflective. You could pretty much see that here with my hand. But basically I have my Euro Pro 6 router here which is wirelessly connected to my other Euro Pro 6 router. So this one's actually acting as an extender. So because it's wirelessly connected to the other one, and this is a mesh Wi-Fi obviously, I have two Ethernet ports available for use. Now I could either connect this directly to my Xbox, which I'm going to use for texting, or I can hook it up to my Switch, which I've done here, and I could basically connect this to my Xbox, and now I essentially have 23 other ports. So one is in use for to get network access and then the other 23 are free to use for any other devices that I have. Now this is obviously a simple test, but you could see the lights here. So because my uh, ports are uh, ports three and ports 11, those are the lights that are lighting up. So the top light blinks when there's activity and the bottom light indicates it's a gigabit connection. So this white, uh, white part of that, I guess, is hooked up to my Xbox and I will do a speed test. But I will, I also want to demonstrate that it doesn't matter which port you choose, everything is handled automatically. So what do I mean by that? So if I disconnect this, you're going to see the light go away and I could just hook it up to any other port. It does not matter because the router will handle all of that stuff for me. And the same thing with the source, I could switch the source as well, it does not matter. Now I did a speed test just a little bit earlier and I got really, really good speeds. Uh, so my internet's typically 400 down and 20 up. I typically get faster speeds than that. I usually don't get something this fast, but I did get it. But I will do another test just to show you guys but that was unusually fast. But again, pretty amazing that the Euro Pro 6 router can get to those speeds, even though it's wirelessly connected to my other one. So that's actually pretty phenomenal in and, in and of itself. But 
This switch is very useful because I can hook up a lot of stuff. So I have, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff here that I can use like my ring alarm, my PlayStation, my Switch, my Wii U, like all that other stuff, my MacBook. Uh, I should say Mac Mini, not MacBook. But yeah, so I did a speed test. This is m much more realistic. So 478 down and 23 up. So yeah, so there it is. That's basically what a switch does. Uh, plug and play, you don't have to configure anything. The router does that for you automatically. It adds to your existing network. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you to all my current subscribers.